Hello friends, welcome to your favorite YouTube channel English Guru Vikram sir and today we are going to learn about the kinds of nouns. What are the kinds of nouns and how they are used? How to differentiate between them? It is a very important thing in our English grammar syllabus. So let's see what are the kinds of nouns. The nouns are popularly classified under eight categories. Which are those? Proper noun, common noun, collective noun, abstract noun, concrete noun, countable or uncountable noun, singular or plural noun, gerund and infinitive. Gerund infinitives are also called verbal nouns. So let's understand first what is the difference between them and how we can identify them. Proper noun, as the name suggests, it is the name of particular name of a person or of a place. If we say Ganesh, Ramesh, India, Kagiso, Brian, these are the proper names. These are the proper names. For example, if we say Kagiso, George, Tom, India, these are the proper names. These are the proper names. And what are the common nouns? Common nouns are the names given to a particular class or kind. Kagiso is a boy. Kagiso is a boy. So Kagiso is a proper noun and boy is a common noun. Boy is a common noun. India is a proper noun and country is a common noun. India is a proper noun and country is a common noun. If I say Maharashtra, Maharashtra is a state. So state is a common noun and Maharashtra is a proper noun. Common noun is the name given to a particular class or particular kind. For example, tiger, lion, Elephant, deer, all these are the common nouns. All these are the common nouns. Mountain, hill, all these are the common nouns. Furniture, common noun. If we say Himalaya, that is proper noun because that is the particular name, specific name given to the certain thing or place, Himalaya. But if we say mountain, it is a common noun. Because there are hundreds of mountains in the world and mountain refers to the class. Got it? Let's move forward. Collective nouns. Collective noun is a name given to a collection of persons or things. For example, herd. Herd of cattle. Herd of cattle. Army. Army of ants or army of Soldiers, shoal, shoal of fish, collective noun, bunch, bunch of keys, bunch of flowers, bundle, bundle of currency notes, bundle of sticks, bundle. These are the collective nouns which show a group, which show a group or collection of persons or things and these collective nouns are particular. For example, we say that hound of dogs, hound, a group, pride of lions, pride, a group of lions. They are, they are called collective nouns. Got it? Abstract nouns. We have five sensory organs, eyes, nose, ears, taste and touch. If feeling, sense. If we cannot feel the noun by using any of these five senses, then that is abstract noun, which doesn't have shape, size or color or taste. We cannot hear them. We cannot feel them. So these are abstract nouns and abstract nouns are the names of quality, action or state. Quality. Beauty is a quality. Anger, quality or state. 
these qualities are the abstract nouns for example beauty kindness action laughter laughter these names are called abstract names and exactly opposite to the abstract names come concrete nouns what are they concrete nouns we can sense them we can touch them or we can see them we can taste them or we can feel them those things those places those objects if we can perceive them by our senses then those are the concrete nouns for example lots of things around us are the concrete nouns this pen this whiteboard that mobile phone that cell phone that fan everything we can see it we can touch it or we can feel it that is the concrete noun got it next countable or uncountable quite easy one and many if we can count them if we can count them 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 then those nouns are countable nouns boy countable noun pen countable noun page countable noun we can count them but if we cannot count them 1 2 3 for example water oil food can we count them no how can can you say that i was very thirsty so i drank five water no no you can say five glasses of water but you cannot say five water one noun can come in many categories for example water is uncountable noun water is a material noun as well i haven't written it here i will take it separately material noun i will add it in the end one noun can come in many categories one noun can come in many categories singular and plural nouns singular only one plural many two or more that is plural for example pen is a singular noun pens is a plural noun knife is a singular noun knives is a plural noun singular and plural nouns are asked in exams so many times which are the irregular plurals so i have given a list of singular and plural nouns in the description go check it learn it keep it in mind bury it in mind last but not the least gerund and infinitive gerund and infinitive these are formed from verb and so they are also called verbal nouns they are they are also called verbal nouns nouns which are formed from the verb for example singing dancing to sing to dance there are so many verbal nouns because if there is verb there will be the verbal noun no doubt for example i like singing i love teaching in these sentences which is the main verb like and which are the nouns singing and teaching if i say i love to teach to teach is a noun and love is a verb love is a verb so verbal nouns or gerund and infinitives are the nouns which are formed from the verbs i have made a separate video on this topic go check it so please take a screenshot and if you haven't subscribed yet don't forget to subscribe and to press the bell icon so that you will get the notifications of my further videos stay in touch stay safe stay healthy